Now we just modified a preloaded create symbol. Let's create new one. So if you want no, uh, create your new symbol from your clean template, you need to go to Revit menu, say uh, new family, go to annotations and say generic annotation. The same message that you need to uh, change family category. Of course, I say it will be grid head. All right. And say create a label. Label name, for example, with uh, any letter, for example, letter B. It's just a sample. When you load your your object into your project, uh, it will be uh, your family will use your current grid name. And for example, I want to draw triangle. And for example, like this, and uh, a type, and say background will be transparent. Okay. Don't forget to save. Save as grid head. Grid head and load into my project and now uh, I uh, I pick any grid say add type but uh, for example I want to uh, use triangles just for these two lines, I pick these two lines, say edit type, and of course I can just modify in the type my grid head, for example, uh, here it is my new grid head, but this it will affect every grid. If I don't want to do so, and I just want to change two of my grids. I pick just two of them. Say edit type, then say duplicate custom tag and say my new grid head. Here it is. And for example, if I want to rotate or mirror my triangle, I return to my grid head and just pick all, say filter, uncheck other, say rotate, place center and angle. Here it is and let's just move my letter. Let's load into project. Here it is. Of course, if you want to, you can modify it more correctly to have correct drain of these lines.